Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way, your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection Today we celebrate the Memorial of St. Justin and we honor a courageous witness of the early church who fearlessly proclaimed the gospel and embraced martyrdom for the sake of Christ. St. Justin reminds us of the great cost of discipleship and the unwavering faith that can sustain us even in the face of persecution. In today's gospel, we also encounter another powerful story of faith, that of the blind man Bartimaeus. This encounter between Jesus and Bartimaeus teaches us a valuable lesson about faith and the transformative power of encountering Christ. Bartimaeus, although he was physically blind, possessed a deep spiritual vision that recognized Jesus as the son of David, the long-awaited Messiah. His persistent cries for mercy reveal his unyielding trust in Jesus' ability to heal and transform his life. In our own lives, we can also experience moments of blindness. It may not be physical blindness, but perhaps a spiritual blindness that prevents us from seeing and understanding God's plan for us. We can become blinded by the distractions and the temptations of this world. We can become blinded by doubt or fear or by our own self-centeredness. But you know, just like Bartimaeus, we're also called to cry out to Jesus in faith and seek his mercy and his healing. When Jesus asks Bartimaeus the question, what do you want me to do for you? It's a question that he poses to each one of us today. It invites us to reflect on our deepest desires and needs. What is it that we truly seek from the Lord? Are we willing to approach him with humility and faith, acknowledging our limitations and asking for his transforming power? Just like St. Justin who laid down his life for the sake of the gospel, and like Bartimaeus who boldly cried out for mercy and healing, we too are called to embrace a courageous and unwavering faith. We're called to encounter Jesus in the depths of our hearts and to recognize him as the Son of God and to trust in his power to transform our lives. And so today, let's pray for the intercession of St. Justin and the faith of Bartimaeus to inspire us to be bold witnesses of Christ's love in the world. May we, like them, encounter Jesus in the depths of our being and proclaim his saving message with courage and joy. <laughs> 